Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about various data types that we used in C programming language. So let's begin. Before going to the various data type, one thing that I want to tell you is about signed and unsigned things. Okay, so signed means the number could be either positive or negative and unsigned means that the number will always be positive. Okay, for example, if there is 8 bits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, then in the case of signed, in the case of signed numbers, a bit will be used for telling whether the number is positive or negative. Now, the most left hand side of the bit generally tells us this. For example, if this bit is 0, then number will be positive and if this bit is 1, then the number will be negative. This is in the case of the signed numbers. In the unsigned numbers, our number will always be positive. Okay, Our, un our number is always be positive. In that case, this bit will no longer be act as an signed bit. Okay. So, this bit will be used as a general representation of our number. So, now if I am writing here 1, then this doesn't mean that this will be act as a negative number. Okay. And the range of the unsigned will increase. Okay. Because here the 7 bits were used to represent numbers, but here now 8 bits will be used to represent numbers. Okay. If you don't know about how to represent numbers in binary form and how negative numbers are shown in binary or binary to decimal conversion, then you can check out this video in which I had talked to you about this in detail. Right. Now let's talk about the data types. Here I will be talking about the size of data type for 32 bit compiler. Note that if you want to know the size for 16 bit and for 64 bit compiler, just take an online reference and there it will be shown. Here just focus on the different data types that we can use in C programming language with 32 bit compilers, right? So first let's talk about the care data types. Okay. So care data types could be signed care, right? and unsigned care right the bytes are 1 1 for both and the format specifier is percent %c okay for both of them now remember that the range of our unsigned care will be more than the range of the signed care okay for signed care it is generally minus 128 to 127 and for unsigned care it is 0 to 255 okay note that in c programming language when we simply declare a variable with care as then nothing is written here so by default it is treated as signed character okay or signed data type it, then we have integer data types okay so i'll write here int the bytes will be 4 and format specifier will be percent %d okay then there is short int okay basically for decreasing the size or range of our integer that will be used two bytes and this will also have the format specifier as percent %d then we have long int to increase the range and this will also use four bytes and the format specifier will be percent %ld okay now the integer could also be unsigned and signed so i'll write here unsigned int okay and the byte will be four and the representative will be percent small u okay similarly there could be signed int now signed int or nothing writing here is equal okay so either i can write here signed int or nothing okay only the range of the unsigned integer will increase because there will not be any signed bits right then we have unsigned short int okay so for that the byte will be 2 and it will be represented with using percent %u then unsigned long int okay for it size will be 4 and it will be represented with percent %lu now one thing to note here is that short int this can be replaced with the simply writing short okay similarly long int can also be replaced with the long right and since i am not writing here anything it will be considered as signed long int okay signed short int or signed short right similarly here this can also be equivalent to writing unsigned short okay and this will be equal to unsigned long 
you don't need to write integer every time so remember that people generally like to use the short forms okay so short long unsigned short unsigned long and this will be their sizes and this will be their format specifier now let's talk about the float data types the first one here is float right and this will be of 4 byte and for representation or format specifier for this will be percent f then we have double and this will be of 8 byte and this will represent with the percent of lf okay then we have long double right and this will be of 10 byte and here this will be represented with or format specifier will be capital l and f so these are our data types that we used in c programming language now one question is that that what happens when we increase the range of a variable or cross the range for example let's say i'm writing here short and then variable name is a and let's not assign it now the number of bytes for it will be 2 byte and range will be minus 3 to 7 6 8 2 3 2 7 6 7 now if i write here a equals to 17 this will be perfectly fine because this number is within its range okay now but let's say i am writing here 3 2 7 6 8 okay the question arises here is that what will happen if I am crossing the range. For example, in this case, I am writing a equals to 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. Now, in this case, what will happen? The next number would be this one. Okay. So, here implicitly it will be assigned with the value of 3, 2, 7, 6, 8 minus 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. If you do the printf percent %d and a, then it will give us output as minus 3 to 7 6 8 okay similarly let's say i am writing here 6 9 okay so the first number could be minus 3 to 7 6 8 minus 3 to 7 6 8 and up then the number would be minus 3 to 7 6 9 okay so in this case our output will be minus 3 to 7 6 9 okay note that the values are not increasing here okay the number are coming back from where it is started if i am increasing here by 1 then this number if by 2 then the next particular number if by 3 then after that particular number like that okay but the number will always stay in the range even if we give the value higher than its range okay so remember this point right so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video